Hey guys, it's Francis, and one of the most common things that I hear from people around me is, I can't do what you do, I can't seem to paint my nails correctly, so I decided I would do a video on how I do it. Now, I'm not a licensed nail technician, so I'm not telling you this is the proper way to do it, I'm just going to show you how I do it. Now, I start off with a cuticle remover. I don't use do this step every single time, um, but when I see that my cuticles are starting to um, grow out, this is what I use, and I saw this on Moon Baby Nails. I take it and I put it in that smaller bottle because it's easier to work with. You'll see because it's very liquidy. And then I use a cuticle pusher, and I believe I got this one off of Born Pretty, and I'll link that below. And I just apply this all around the edges of my cuticles and I put down that napkin because you see how liquidy it is. And then I almost immediately come in with that metal pusher and I just come in and gently push those cuticles back. Now you don't want to push too hard, you're going to hurt yourself, but what I'm trying to do is just remove that dead layer that's on the top of your nail that prevents um, the polish from adhering very well to your nail. And like I said, I don't do this every single time. It's probably not that great to do every single time. Um, and I don't know if I mentioned this, but Moon Baby Nails is the one that kind of turned me on to this product. And you can get it at Sally Beauty Supply. It's not that expensive, and it does last you a very, very long time. Thank you, Tina, for the suggestion. And then I'm going to come in with just a little orange wood stick, and I'm going to remove if there's any of that dead skin material left behind. I'm going to go ahead and remove that until I am satisfied that there's none of that skin, not skin, but none of the material left sticking out. And I'm just gonna go ahead and show you how I did it again on this particular nail. Just gently pushing that up and removing that. There's something satisfying about doing this, by the way. Something so satisfying about removing those, those cells. And it looks, looks so clean and fresh when you're done. I don't know. Am I the only one? Am I the only crazy one that gets a little bit of satisfaction <laughs> out of doing this? I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. Leave me a comment. Let me know. Am I crazy? Probably a little bit. And then I'm going to come in with these cuticle nippers. And I'm just going to remove little hangnails or things that might be sticking out. Um, sometimes you get a little bit of that dead skin around the edges of your cuticle, and I'm sorry I was off camera for this, but I'm going to show you. And I'll just nip a little bit. I do not cut deep. Um, I've been told before that it's not a good idea to do that. I don't know whether that's the truth or not. Like I said, not a licensed nail technician. So then I'm going to come in with this nail file, and I'm just going to file my nails down a little bit. I'm growing them out. This is sort of like... I'm testing myself to see how long I can let my nails grow. Um, it's kind of a competition with myself, honestly. Um, I prefer square nails, um, but you can obviously file in whatever shape you want to. Actually, square, swivel, whatever you call them. I like it a little rounded around the edges so I'm not hurting anybody. And then I'm gonna come in with my base coat. Now, I generally use either one base coat or the other. If I'm going to leave it on for a while, I'll use a sticky base coat. And this is a CND one that was gifted to me by a friend. And I use a yellow stopper as a base coat if it's something I'm only going to be wearing very temporarily or if I'm wearing glitter and I want to peel that sucker right off. So um, today I believe I'm going with the sticky base coat. And then I'm just going to come in and cover my nail with that sticky base coat. Now, in my regular videos, I don't usually show myself applying the base coat just for time purposes, but I always apply a base coat, whether it's the sticky one or the yellow stopper. And I'm gonna come in with I Can Only Wear OPI for this particular look, which is my favorite go-to light, 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 light gray. It is great for the base of nail art, and it is, because it's not a stark white. I'm not a big fan of the stark white. Um, I prefer this light, light gray, and you see that this does, goes on pretty streaky, but it comes in nicely on the second coat. And now I'm coming in, I'm trying very carefully not to make a big mess. I start in the middle and then go towards the edges, but as you can tell, I make a mess when I paint my nails as well. So I'm going to come in 
and remove a little bit of that extra with an orange wood stick, the flat end of an orange wood stick. You see it seeped into the side walls again. So I'm just gonna remove that as much as possible. And then I'm gonna come in with a fast dry top coat. I always use a fast dry top coat on top of my base coat. It helps prepare the base coat for whatever I'm gonna put on top of it. It helps move anything out. It also helps dry it a lot faster so that I am not messing up that bottom coat when I'm stamping on top of it or doing whatever I want, whatever I need to on top of it. This stuff dries it very, very quickly. And then I'm just gonna make sure I have that top coat over all my nails. And as you can see, I don't cleanly paint my nails. So I'm going to come in with just, this is just a wet and wild, or not a wet and wild, this is a e.l.f. makeup brush. And I'm gonna come in with some pure acetone and a little dampened dish, and you can get these for like 99 cents at Sally, the dampened dishes. And then I'm just gonna come around the edges and clean off that mess that I've made. So it, it's not imperative that when you're painting your nails that you paint them perfectly. You can come in and clean up whatever mess you made. The, with the more practice, the easier it gets to paint them and the less cleanup that you probably have to do. But it's nice to know that you can always come back to that cleanup method. Now, I'm it's harder for me and it looks more difficult because I'm doing it on camera because I'm trying to stay in the frame for you and I'm trying to not put my hand in front of the camera so that you can see what I'm doing. But it's far easier to do this off camera than it is on camera. But I wanted to try and catch that cleanup for you. So I'm just gonna come around the sidewalls and around that cuticle edge and, or free edge or, no, free edge is on the bottom, the cuticle edge at the top. And here I am, I'm all prepared for whatever I wanna put on top of it. I'm gonna film a different video that I do a design on top of this, so just keep watching. But thank you for watching, thank you for spending your time with me, and I will see you again next time. Bye.